So the question is, Curtis, was it a trainer? Is it a true trainer in the, in the sense of the word or? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is. And we'll, we'll get into that in the flight is that. Well, then let's go right I'm gonna, into I'm gonna, it. I'm, I'm going to do you a favor and not drag it out. Hey, so good. Then. I'm not going to let you ramble on. <laughs> All right, let's start with model characteristics. Build is advertised. We gave it a five out of five. Wasn't much to this. No, it pops right together. They have really good instructions for a beginner because mm -hmm. trainers are for beginners. If you've never done this before, ever yeah. touched a screw to a, a model before, you should have no problems whatsoever getting it. I didn't. So there you go. Uh, finish four out of five. They've done a, a good job of making it look colorful, as you know, catching the decathlon look as yep. far as the uh, striping stuff. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of stickers. It's like anything you're going to notice. You're going to see a lot of stickers peeling here and there. You're going to have to push them back down. Stickers on foam. Yeah, it's bubbles, it's, uh, wrinkles, and, stuff like that. Inherently, always a problem. It's a it's a five foot model. Looks <laughs> flawless from yeah. five feet. As you get up close to it, then you yeah. see the stickers kind of curling I don't up. Like there my there. flying thirty feet. <laughs> All right, power five out of five. You need tons of power. Yeah, uh, the, the, I'll agree the, with that. Yeah, the brushless motor they put on there, the fourteen hundred kV, is more than enough for sport aerobatics and. You know, uh, beginners need, you know, they, they don't need as much power if they really want to learn how to fly in the wing, but it, it has everything yeah. you can need. Yeah, just really. All right, there. ground handling, we gave it a three out of three. This is kind of, on takeoff, at least on a hard surface, it's pretty much a point and shoot. It wants to walk on you a little bit. I mean, yeah. it's, it's um, you can't talk about that without talking about the fact that beginners are going to be, be getting in their hands on this. Yeah. And that, you know, oh, what do I do? They read the instruction manual. Okay, this pull back and it should go up. You know, push yeah. forward, it goes down. They're really going to be thinking, overthinking and not really yeah. know how to react. No. As soon as they start to throw the throttle to it, they're probably going, it's probably going to do one of these on them. Yep. Right on the ground. Um, it's not a problem with the tracking at all. You know, once you get some air across the tail, uh, it, the, you have good rudder authority. So for somebody that has experience, it doesn't behave poorly on yeah. takeoff, but for a brand new pilot, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to get it off on a hard surface. Now on yeah. really short, very compact grass, because they're smaller tires, mm -hmm. it, it is going to be a little bit easier. Grass is always a good thing yeah, because it slows it all down. Drag. You can put more power on and you can get more across the tail without too much forward speed. So yep. it's going to be a really good short grass takeoff um, compared to hard surface. Hard surface, it, it's I really want to see ground loop. It doesn't. It just wants to start walking and dancing yeah. on you a little bit, and you're going to be on the rudder. So, yeah. if you're taking off from a hard surface, just give it give it a little more throttle than you'd expect to. And if you have it in intermediate or beginner mode, it's going to manage itself fairly straight, and you'll be able to gracefully take off. And you can kind of see that in the video. We gave a couple of samples yeah. there. So, all right. Well, let's go to durability. Then we got a 4.5 out of five. There really isn't a whole lot. I mean, there's no struts on it. Uh, there's not a lot of fragile parts on this. I can't imagine. No, the wheel pants are really tough. It yeah. looks like they seem pretty durable. Uh, I think overall it's gonna it's gonna hold I up. I don't well. think it would be much of an issue. No. You could probably take it in a few times gently, like on grass. Grass. Yeah, it's on always, grass. you know, if you're a beginner and you're and you're working with any kind of trainer platform, grass and the thicker the grass, the better. You may not be able to take off on the thick grass, but if you're gonna have something happen, have it happen over yeah. grass, and it should survive pretty well. Okay, pilot experience. Flight is advertised. This is where the yeah. Meat and potatoes hit the plate. Four out of five. It's um, <clears throat> it's keep in mind that there are platforms that you can fly for the first time ever. Ultra micros. Go get an ultra micro. I mean, if you it, there's ones out there with the cellophane wings. Mm -hmm. br brand unmentioned. Yeah. Cellophane wings. It's a three channel and it goes Actually, so slow. Mylar. Uh, mylar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's balloon material. They're not toys. Yeah. They're not dolls in the cockpit either. Plastic wings. But that's a whole other subject. Go ahead. Regardless, um, taking those off and you can attest to this, Rob. Taking mm -hmm. off with one of those, having somebody just hand launch it, say, yeah. listen, don't don't freak out. Just give it a little bit of throttle. Okay. Leave, forget about that stick. Yeah. Just think about this stick. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go now. And you pull back to go up, right to go. To, you know, yeah. you're gonna you could have somebody sit there that's never flown before and have a better chance on something like that, all on their own flying and learning. A true beginner or trainer platform, this is a four channel plane. So mm -hmm. you've got more control services to think about and keep in mind. Yeah. So we're back into that, either you're buddy boxing or you're handing the transmitter off to an experienced person, they're getting it up in the air, three, four mistakes high. They say, okay, all right, I don't know anything crazy, but let me hand yeah. it to you and, and they talk you through it and they watch you and then they grab it back when you get in trouble. Yep. This is very much that kind of trainer. Um, it's not a, if you've never flown before, don't expect to go out and get this and go have successful flights with well, it. Well, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a trainer that needs to be taught. The, the yep. flying process needs to be taught. Yep. Now, with somebody starting off, we have the benefit now, we have for a number of years, really good training uh, simulator software. Sure. You know, fantastic 
uh, replication or, or simulation of the environment. Throw a bit of wind in there and, and go with something that's a more basic trainer mm -hmm. and spend several hours in the trainer, get used to certain training software, get used to what does what, yeah. what your orientation is, um, getting some of the control orientation down, and then your, your chances of success go up exponentially. Sure. If you're going to try to take this off for the first time on yeah. your own. What's going to happen with this, it doesn't happen with a simulator software, is things happen much faster. Yeah. Uh, crosswind effect, even though it has stabilization on it, uh, you're going to feel crosswind effect. You're going to feel a sink um, when you've got, when you're, when you're turning into or upwind, you're going to feel sink that doesn't exist on a lot of trainer, PC software mm -hmm. trainers that, it's just those things are always missing sure. from them. They, they kind of do a good job, but you know, they always yeah. miss those. And when somebody goes out in real world conditions and it's like, this is nothing like the, nothing like yeah. the simulator. Well, yeah, it's, it's, this is the real world. Exactly. Now you've got twitchiness in the wings. You've got yeah. uh, you know, a, a slip. You've got, you've got adver adverse yaw that kicks in when, mm -hmm. you're, when you're a little closer to stall and you're trying to make your turns. A beginner isn't going to have any idea what any of that no. means. But look at this for what it is and, and grade it based on the stabilization enabled. Intermediate, I liked. For a beginner, if I was teaching somebody, I wouldn't take it to beginner. Beginner, uh, the beginner switch, and if you have me the, the transmitter, Rob. Yes, sir. The switch on the right here. Um, this one in the manual, there's <laughs> NFP trim, uh, and what that is is the natural flight, flight progression system. When you initialize it, you, you want to level the plane out, and you can reset your trims that way on a particular surface. Follow the instructions. You know, you push the button down, you move the stick, and then, you know, little tiny single increments, it levels it out, the control surfaces. It'll tell you all about that. Once that's set, though, you can pretty much forget it. You're going to be dealing with your switch. Mm -hmm. And it's off, intermediate, and beginner, three-position switcher on the right. I, was, I would be comfortable training someone with it on interme intermediate yeah. all the time. It keeps them from going inverted. And you mm -hmm. can see that on the film, you know, when, I, when we did the left and right, you know, I put it in there as intermediate. Um, that's just keeping it from rolling over all yeah. the way. It mixes a little rudder in with your turns. It does all those things for you so you can still focus on just the right stick yeah. for flying. Get the thing up to half throttle. You know, about 50% throttle has plenty of power for yep. it. And just focus on the right stick. Keep it an intermediate or beginner. Beginner really clamps down the, re the response. Yeah. It's, 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 you have to pull full deflection to get it to turn. You just, it's like everything's over accentuated. Yeah. So it's going to form some bad habits when beginners go to into intermediate yeah. and it's going to happen a lot faster on them. So. And then when you turn it off, it's a whole different ball game. This aircraft with all stabilization off is is a hot it's a hot it's a hot bird. There's no, there's no doubt about it. It's it'll do some it'll it's going to dip a wingtip on you. It's going to slip through the turns. It's going to be a little a little cagey. Yeah. It's not out of control. It's it flies exactly like a high wing this size yep. with that much power does. Yep. So it it falls right inside the norm. But it is absolutely not a beginner or trainer platform with all the stabilization sure. turned off. And that's the thing to really keep in mind. Well, but overall, you can get it down. You just got to spend time with it, you know, practice. And, and like I said, the best thing would be having that friend, that experienced pilot, get you up in the air and work sure. you through your yeah. up in the air flying first and then takeoffs and then landings. So. Well, I think uh, as, as the hobbies progress through the years, I think their whole goal from a manufacturer's standpoint is to try to make this as easy for anybody, as easy as they can for anybody to, to grab something, take it out there on your own and fly it and have success. And, mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be a, uh, a downer about this. I'm not talking negative about the idea. It's a great concept, but I know where you're going. there's drawbacks to it. Yeah, there's, there, there's It's not an RC car to where you stop because you're not, you don't understand it just coming back Just let go of the controller and, and it sits right there. Yeah, yeah. It's, this is a plane, and if you're not understanding what you're doing, the onboard stabilization is going to make it that much more confusing yep. for you. And, and, you know, look at it from that perspective. Uh, you can't cheat flight. If no. you want to cheat flight, fine. Stay in stabilized platforms. Don't ever break out of them because as soon as you do, you're going to get it handed. Exactly. You. You're yeah. going to be walking back yeah. in pieces. At some point, you have to learn how to fly. At some point, you have to learn how to to counteract yeah. wind, uh, to get to to deal with air with, with conventional aerodynamic considerations yep. from wing stalls to you know uh, well, all the different types of, I mean, of behavior any yeah. aircraft has. You're going to have to learn that. And this this will allow you to do it. Just flip that switch to off. Yeah. If you ever think like, oh, I've got this mastered, and yeah. all you fly is intermediate or beginner, go out on a five or eight mile an hour wind day. Like we, today, we had yeah. about eight, five, eight mile an hour winds, and it was cold. And it was 38, 36, 7, 37 degrees. degrees. Yeah, it was Hands chilly. are frozen. You're just like, Ugh, and flip that stabilization completely off, and you'll find out where you're really at. Mm -hmm. You can fly it, and it goes where you want it to, and yeah. you actually have control of it. Then you're ready yeah. to progress into real, you know, well, real, I just, real RC I flight. think it's just in. in drives a point home that anytime you can get 
to your local flying field or mm -hmm. someplace where you can get assistance, make the experience more enjoyable by doing that. Yeah. Um, this uh, Flight is just not one of those things that you're going to go out there and master in an afternoon in your backyard. No. You're no. just not going to do it. Uh, if it was that easy, good Lord, we went about it all wrong. Yeah, if it was yeah. that easy, there'd be a lot more people doing so it. So I'm not, I'm not saying that the stabilization is a bad thing. I think it's a no. great thing. But if it's done properly and with the correct help, you get a better understanding of what you're doing, mm -hmm. not just relying on stabilization to take all that away from you. Yep. Because like you said, then when you do think you're that good, you get another model, you go up there and all of a sudden- the Without real world, stabilization. The real, real world just smacked you in the and nose. You stuff it, like, and you immediately think, well, that plane flies horrible. Yeah. No, you just don't know how to fly yet. Exactly. That, you know, that's, exactly. that's the reality. So I guess it. the point is don't, don't think this is a crutch like any of these trainers nope. with um, with building stabilization. Yeah, I think it's a you. great training tool and it does just that, it's a trainer. Yep. And it'll, a trainer. it will teach you how to fly if exactly. you have the time and patience to go about it the, you know, the smart way. So. You got it. Well, let's go to flight time. Mm -hmm. We got five out of five. We went quite a while, 10, Ten minutes, minutes. Yeah. easily, yeah. Yep. Field size, you want to fly this thing in a park. This little bugger's a lot quicker than you think it would be. Yeah, we flew it at the dome, the indoor dome, a golf dome, uh, originally for yeah. its first flight, and it was take it around twice and land. It's like, nope, too yeah. small in here. It just doesn't yeah. have any And that's more a big dome. That. It is so a big dome. I was surprised yeah. when you said it was too Well, quick. we got a narrow wingspan. If you look at the wing loading, calculate it off the all-up yeah. weight. You know, it's a pretty hot little plane. It takes well, a little bit of movement. when I saw you take off with it, I realized how quick it was. It will fly slow, but what you're going to notice on slower flight is it starts getting real mushy on Well, you. sure. Yeah. Real mushy. Yep. So for a beginner, this you're going to get into a tip stall This size just doesn't really relate to slow flight very well at all. No. It's got a thicker wing. It's, yep. it's uh, just a short, small yep. package. Shorter couple plane overall. It takes some power to get it moving. Portability, 4.5 out of 5. This isn't a real big plane. You could easily stick it in your back seat, front yeah, seat beside yeah, you, whatever. Easy transport. Skill level, beginner, in intermediate. I think we described uh, in the, yep. the last four categories as to why it's If you that. walk out of anything, if you take anything from this review, it's that um, you're not going to, if you've never flown before and you see the word beginner on the package, on this particular aircraft, don't fool yourself into thinking having zero stick time whatsoever on a, on a soft, software simulator or anything. You're going to go home and fly this and have success. Yeah. You're not. It's just you're not going to do it. Um, and again, that's not what trainers are made for. Trainers are well-behaved platforms that an experienced pilot can then partake or, or bestow their knowledge on the, the beginner exactly. and yeah. help them go through the process. Yep. This, is a, this is very much what I would call an assisted trainer. Yeah. It's not a yeah. standalone, do-it-yourself, never-flown-before trainer. No. If you go into it with that expectation, you're going to have really good success, and yep. you're going to enjoy it. You're going to put hours and hours on this plane. And 10-minute flight times, the batteries are inexpensive. Buy two, three batteries. Oh, yeah. You're going to yeah. be flying the heck out Charge of this for a couple the entire of them up, season. Three yep. of them up, you'd be out there all afternoon, really. You spend a month to two months on this out at your local park, um, get that under your belt, and you're going to be flying pretty much anything sure. you want to for the most part. I agree you know, with that. I-wing, at yep. least, and much larger platforms. So. Yep. Well, that wraps up our review on the Aries Decathlon 350 RTF Trainer. If you'd like to see more information, go to our website at tobefly.com. For mobile users, you can go to rcflightsource.com, download our mobile app to take our content with you on the go. I'm Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby. And I'm Rob. Thanks for watching.